I am Mike Johnson, or better known, the husband of that cute singer, Stage Left. We've been part of Parkway for 12 years. I'm also the chairman of the Intentional Faith Development Team. We work on small groups and other ways to grow people at Parkway. And this is my story. Over a year ago, God started intersecting my life in a bit of a quiet way. And that was a sense about what do we do for the people who have hit a wall in their spiritual growth and are wanting more, wanting to get beyond that and need something. Now, studies show that in churches, there are a lot of people who've hit a wall of spiritual growth and they just stop moving. They just get stuck. And you know, when that happens, you get into a, a, a habit, you get into a rut and, and it's hard to get unstuck. But what about these people who are just there recently, in the last six months, a year, what can we do to get them unstuck? And uh, finally, last spring, I talked to Matt about it, and he said, oh, that's great. I'll do a sermon series on, on walls and our spiritual growth, and then you can lead that thing, see you at the wall. So I was committed, created this safe place where uh, what was said in there stayed in there. There were 13 people, it was like a small group, just for six weeks, each person would take 10 to 15 minutes to share their story. Then we go through a rhythm of, of asking them questions. It was exciting, a really cool small group. Almost everybody who shared there said it helped them get past that wall. Now, being part of that group means that I had to address my own wall and really didn't want to address it. But it was a wall that, that was making me avoid God. You know, certainly I believe in God, certainly I still pray, certainly I still read scripture, but there'd be many days where I'd be just too busy, you know, to, to read scripture. But really it was, I was avoiding God. And I was avoiding God because, basically because up to about my early 30s, every job I applied for, I got. Even jobs that I didn't apply for, I was offered. And then things seemed to shift. In the last 20 years, so many opportunities have been closed doors and, um, really frustrating experiences and you know to be frank I was disappointed with God and so you know while I would push myself to spend time in scripture I really didn't want to be reading scripture I, I you know I had to force myself because I was just just disappointed by him um, but sharing that story just coming public with that story for those 13 people it it really did something I did not expect I mean, God intersected me, the Holy Spirit intersected in that situation in a powerful way, even though I knew it in my head, just emotionally in a powerful way. And um, my spiritual life has been different since then. Reading scripture has been more alive. Um, I'm more consistent each morning when I read and journal a bit about it. Uh, it's just great. And, and I am really, really looking forward to this Advent and even to 2016 and a time with God in the morning just being a richer time than it was before, all because of that intersection of God that see you at the wall.